And now we're on to the main use. Probably the main use for a box is in something called dynamic dispatch uh, of a trait object. And that means uh, dynamic dispatch means uh, happens at runtime. Uh, so it's not, uh, not at compile time. Um, and the other thing, a uh, trait object is a, uh, a pointer, a pointer that uh, points to a trait. And this is uh, very similar to Impletrait, which, uh, which we've already seen, where you want to, um, you know, you want to return something and you would like to return a uh, impl display or something like that. Um, box, uh, boxes have been used to, uh, to do this before Impletrait and they're a bit different because they're dynamic and we'll see that soon enough. But um, uh, here you'll see this, uh, this, dyn, this dyn keyword. So dyn means um, it's dynamic dispatch and uh, it's, it's used um, if you want to uh, return a trait here, let's say you want to return something with display, um, it, uh, it'll require the keyword dyne display, and then uh, and then after that, uh, it'll it'll tell you to to box it up because um, a uh, something that implements a trait, you know, can be can be any size, and uh, I'll just uh, I'll start with that to just uh, show uh, you know what I'm talking about here. Uh, I have this big big example of, uh, of a whole bunch of uh, actually let's delete this one so we're going to imagine that we have this trait called uh, just a trait and we're going to implement it on everything and just a trait doesn't do anything uh, which is why it's called just a trait and you can see we're we're putting some enums together so here's an enum it's got some i8s in it uh, so we give it just a trait uh, struct of numbers, you know, we give it, uh, we implement this trait as well. Uh, another one, there's a vec inside it, uh, so we implement that. Next, we bring up a struct, and you know, you can implement this on a struct just uh, as well as an enum. And then here we have this uh, this really big struct, and it's got uh, an array of um, 1,000 i8s, and uh, so we implement it on that. And then we have a uh, you know standard mem size of that we just used in the last video, and uh, if we run run that, it's going to uh, it's going to show us the uh, the size. And as you can see, so it's always always a different size, and that's why you need to uh, you know either use a impletrait or uh, or use a box because uh, then of course it'll be eight bytes, and then uh, and then Rust will know the size, whereas um, it can't just say you know, return a trait because it could be this, it could be this, it could be, you know, any sort of size. And uh, so this, uh, let's, uh, let's make that function. Let's just say we want to um, return a trait. So function returns a trait. And uh, we would like to say just a trait. So we would like to return something with just a trait. And then inside that, um, you know we have this enum of numbers here, so let's uh, let's make one of these enum of numbers, and uh, this will be you know we'll choose this uh, this branch here, and let's put a number inside of it, and then some enum, and then we would like to return it, and uh, let's look at the error message to see exactly what it says, and first it gives this warning: trait objects without an explicit dyne are deprecated. And this is, uh, it's not, uh, it's not an error because, uh, uh, Rust used to, uh, do this without, uh, without the dying keyword, but then, uh, it, it was confusing because, uh, it was, it was hard to tell that you were talking about, uh, a trait, you know, it could look like a, a struct or an enum or something like that. And so they decided on a, on a dying keyword, but, um, they didn't want to, uh, to make it an error because then uh, you know the old code without the dying keyword would break. So uh, you know they just said uh, uh, they they give you this warning and then um, everybody started using it. So let's run it again and see what the next error is. And uh, here's the one that uh, that we were talking about. So return type cannot have an unboxed trait object. And so there's that word trait object again, which uh, as we remember is a pointer to a trait. And a, uh, a box is a pointer. Um, it's a smart pointer, uh, but it's a pointer. 
And so uh, what we're going to do is uh, box it up. So we'll do that. So instead of returning something that could be any size, we are returning something that is uh, exactly exactly eight bytes. And uh, so now we can um, we can say, okay, you will you will get this uh, this uh, anything that implements just a trait. It could be this. It could be this. They they all implement it, and they are various sizes. But uh, the all that I'm returning is a box. So just returning a pointer, and uh, you're going to be fine with that. And the rest of it is uh, way off on the on the heap, uh, and uh, you don't you don't have to worry about that because the uh, the compiler is worried about you know what's the size on the stack. So when you do that, uh, it um, it runs, and um, so that is um, how it works. And you might be wondering, you know, what is what is the point of um, dynamic versus uh, static? Like, why don't we just do uh, Infiltrate and actually in this uh, in this case it will work. So impl just a trait, and then we'll go sum enum, and then uh, and run that, and this will actually work. And uh, and then you might think, okay, I I don't uh, that's cool. I don't have to th think about boxes. Uh, boxes look more complicated. Uh, I'm just going to do impl everywhere. Uh, but there's actually um, there's a reason that uh, you would sometimes use box, and I'm going to uh, show you in the next video an example where uh, where just doing this impl will not work, and it'll it'll generate an error.